This YouTube video is in response to a lot of the trolls out there that think they're going to try to uh, comment on my videos and prove to me that their filter can filter out a virus where others can't. We're talking about surface water here. We're talking about emergency water. We're talking about waters that you have to get in emergency from a lake, pond, stream, river, or something that may have a virus in it because any surface water may have a virus in it. So we're going to try to prove to you visually, since you refuse to go to the CDC website to look these things up to show that you cannot filter out a virus. Uh, in the main part of the chart here, I got my pointer, the virus, okay, a virus is right here and bacteria is right here. Those are the two we're going to be talking about mostly, although you might be want to be concerned about Cryptosporidium and Giardia. Those are a little bit easier to filter out, as you'll see. Now, up at the top here, the scale here, we're going to talk about microns. That's what most water filters are rated in, microns. And the area we're going to be looking at mostly here is between 0.1 and 1 micron, okay? Because that's where most of your gravity-fed water filters are going to lie in this zone here. Now, the famous black Berkey that everybody thinks is the best filters at 0.9 microns, right? We're about where my pointer is, okay? And if we go down here... 0.9 microns, 0.9 microns. Oh, there's the bacteria. Well, it looks like it's going to filter out a lot of bacteria, probably not all of it. And look at the virus. We go down here and, uh-oh, the virus is way down here. Doesn't look to me like it's going to filter out a virus. So you tell me, if your Berkey filters the 0.9 virus, tell me again how your filter is going to filter out a virus. See what I'm getting at here, folks? Okay, go back up here. Now, a lot of other water filters, some of the more finer ones, uh, filter down to about 0.3 microns, about where my pointer is right now, about 0.3 microns. Now, that would be your Aquarain, your Proper, and a lot of your other gravity-fed systems. They, they filter a lot slower, and that's why, because they filter down finer. And if we go down here, go down here, and, oh, bacteria. It's going to take out most of the bacteria, maybe not all of it. And viruses, what still is missing the virus mark. You see, this is why the CDC says you cannot filter out a virus. Now, let's talk about reverse osmosis systems here a little bit. Reverse osmosis. Now, a water molecule measures about 0.0001. That's not this one. It would be right over here, actually. From a 0 0.40s and a 1. All right? That's about the size of a water molecule. Now, the reverse osmosis, while technically not being a filter per se, We'll take out a virus, as you can see here, because the viruses are all the way over here, and a, uh, and a reverse osmosis system is in this range here. So uh, that you can filter out a virus with, uh, or remove a virus. Now, unfortunately, a reverse osmosis system is not, imp not practical whatsoever for survival type situations, because not only do you need power or pressure, you also need a lot of extra water. It'd be a lot of waste water. But if you have a way to power and you have a reverse osmosis system, that you can rely on in a uh, emergency situation. And if you're drinking seawater, as you can see, the salts are here, and so yes, you will be able to filter out pretty much all of the salts through a reverse osmosis system. So if you can if you can afford it and you can do that in an emergency situation, that's your only option with a filtration of sorts. Okay, as you will see here, viruses and bacteria. Now these are the two that we're worried about for filtration for emergency purposes, because although you may want to remove all this other stuff too. Uh, for, as far as making you sick or die from a, from a disease, these are the two you need to worry about, and of course, Cryptosporidium and Giardia. But all these other things, that's up to you as far as uh, during normal times when you're trying to filter out water that doesn't have a virus or a bacteria in it. That's, you, can, you can look at this chart here and, and, and change things as your leisure. So thanks, everybody, for watching. Uh, all you trolls, go ahead and try to tell me how your filter will filter out a virus again. Thanks for watching.